We're back with Hero Arts One Day Special. Then we're going over to our nighttime hours with Ultimate Finish. And then, of course, we'll be seeing repeats of the One Day Special through the night. See you in a few minutes. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Welcome to Good Morning Achanda. Your daily breakfast fix of your favourite crafts at 7am. Whilst you're getting ready to start the day, join us every morning for the deal of the day. A product available at a special price but only for the 24 hours or while stocks last. Also, part of your morning routine should be the sunrise specials. Your favourite crafting items available at a special low price but only for the hour. Tune in to Good Morning Achanda and start your day with a deal. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away, we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. If you're watching a show with me on Hochanda, you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce, and it's all very much mixed media, so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away. And there we go, yet another new arrival to us here at Chanda, one that we've been very excited about. Fabulous hair, and the Hero Arts, and of course the fabulous Lou is with me. How are you doing? Not too bad, not too good. Just getting used to the different hour change. <laughs> yes, and it's a bit of an extra one for us, isn't it? It yeah, is, so, yeah? it is, yes. But it gives you an extra mm. opportunity to check out the one day special, and it's a brilliant deal. Many of you got involved with the show when we launched this at six o'clock this evening, um, and a quarter of the stock has gone of the one day special. We had sellouts of other items as well, so uh, do brace yourself, it's going to be another busy hour, I am pretty sure of that, and you can see it's starting with the one day special nice mm. selection this one with the little hot it air balloons is. there's a mixture of absolutely everything in there that will work for lots and lots and lots of different occasions nice. uh, i mean you've got the floral bit on the balloon I, I love that i didn't notice that first time around but how effective is that yeah and then you've got obviously the little heart balloon nice. as well cut the basket away and you've got beautiful little hearts oh, you just, yeah uh, and beautiful sentiments as well let really your dreams nice. soar. Yes. I love the little birds. They're really cute, those, I aren't know. they? You and then you've got the lots flowers things. separately. You've got the um, bunting. Mm -hmm. So you could actually just put the bunting. Good idea, yeah. On, on your actual um, you know, flowers or different colours. And then you've got the, uh, the sentiments there. What's that? Hello there. Thank you. Which could stick in amongst the flowers. Nice idea. I like that. Yeah. Really pretty little stamp set, mm. as you can see there. Say little, that's a whole air balloon. It's quite a considerable size. It, good size, substantial size, which yes. you'll see from the finished samples yes. in a few moments. Now you can see to the side of stamps you have got the dies that are going to cut out lots of those elements, including the little clouds as well. They're quite cute, aren't I they? I know, they cut out the little clouds, the flowers, the leaf, mm, which yes, I thought yeah. was really good, and the banners. Yes. Yeah, they're useful ones time yeah, and time again. Um, even if you um, handwrite your own mm. and you don't even use stamp, the, the, yeah, like you say, they're 
useful time always. and time again. Certainly. They'll always be out on your yeah. desktop. And <laughs> um, now something else that's going to always be out, and I have to say, I love this stamp that we've got here. Mm. This stamp with that kind of, uh, well, it's almost like a wave effect, but you're going to use this in so many different ways. Lots of texture within that particular stamp. I mean, there's lots of, lots of movement. Yes. Yeah. I was saying, if you got um, two or three inks and mm. did like an ombre effect Ooh, yeah. going through, or put the inks on the back and, you know, spritz and then stamp, mm. and it'd look wonderful on your jelly plate, you know, and lifting Beautiful, printer. Yeah. But the lines, there's, you know, gaps between the lines that, you know, colour. You yeah. know, get your pens out and actually Good colour, point. doodle. Um, I also Oops. think what would be really nice is if you had a die cut, say, oh, I'm just going to say a circle, mm -hmm. and you put it on top of the actual stamp. Nice. And then, it, and then you've got the circle free, but you've got all that border all the way around Clever the outside. Clever idea. I like your style. Now, of course, as you saw, their red rubber stamp, mm. um, all scored and mounted, ready to go. So the moment that it arrives, you know you're going to get a pristine um, um, printout with those. So I'm going to pop that back in place very carefully as we have a little look at the final elements of your one day special which is the stencil yeah and again, another, use, another useful set this one i like that stencil there's a lot of elements in there i mean that sense yeah because it's, you've got the swirls yes um but you you've got also that movement i, I love the mm, movement yeah. but pick bits of it you don't have to pick you know Good large point, yeah. points of it sort of thing. Um, it'd be also a great one pens inside Oh, I know, yes. pick bits and pieces that way, yeah. and actually do, do, do it along those lines. Good I point. haven't tried it, but now I'm tempted. I'll give it a go, I think. Embossing it through your machine. Oh, yes, yeah. Good Because I think that would give it quite an unusual textural feel. It certainly would do. Mm. Now, Hero Arts, of course, a brand new company to us here, one of our new arrivals. And then it's an American-based company, yep. um, which, of course, will have extended delivery with regards to things going out. So dispatched on the 7th of February, but it's definitely worth the wait, because mm. when your goodies arrive, if you've not already placed an order, you will get a bit of a bonus, won't you? You're going to get a Lucky Dip stencil. Now, it might be one of these two that we are holding here, but the stencils, they're brilliant quality. They are. They're very, us. Yeah. And, and, yeah, like you say, you could ink them, put your paste through them, put them through your die-cutting machines, you know. There's so many different things you mm. can actually do, but they are a good quality stencil. And that's a bit of a Billy bonus, and we do like a Billy bonus, <laughs> don't we? We also like a good deal, and that's what we've got with the one-day special. £39.99. You've got all your different elements that were spoke of. Fabulous hot air balloons with lots of intricate detail. And you can see when you take that design and start adding your colour, you're going to get some lovely results. Isn't that cute? Isn't that? But that's stamped onto... Um, a dark background. Very effective. And it still stands out equally to actually just stamping it and putting it totally onto a, a it's blue. Like daytime. Nighttime. Yeah, and daytime. Then, and then, nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> and it is, it's using it in a different way um, and thinking about it in a t totally different way. I mean, I love the fact that it's embossed and then just painted or use your pencils on it. Very effective. Really nice stamp, and of course you've got the heart-shaped one on the smaller balloon mm. as well, uh, with a basket alongside it as well. So if you fancy this one, three four zero zero two three. More to share with you, more stamps, more dies, more inspiration. So don't go anywhere. And in fact, you might want to jump onto the website and have a little look at some of the other goodies that we've got, so you get a bit of a head start on us. But what have we got in this set, now, Lou? <gasps> oh, this is another hot air balloon set. Mm. This one's a little bit different. Okay. Um, this one. Uh, I mean, with both, you can do lots with it. But this one, I can actually see it grungy, emboss it oh, in yes. copper. Yeah. And suddenly you've got the steampunk mm, sort of thing. Yeah. Um, but also it's got quite a vintage feel to it. Actually, like your lilacs and your blues. Yes. And you could really make it quite um, oldie-worldie, vintage oh, okay. that way. Yeah, I like that. But you've got the three balloon designs. But what I love about it is you've got different things that you can put on the bottom. So you can put your little man there okay. with his sailboat, as you can see there. Oh, yes, yeah. But you've also got the... Um, the lines, I'm trying to think of the correct term for it, but it's totally gone. But you've also got a little basket. Well, like the ropes. The ropes, ropes yes. Come down, I, think they are. I said yeah. strings earlier, and that wouldn't be good enough, would it, really? Well, not if I'm in that basket. <laughs> oh, I know the feeling. <laughs> Recipe for disaster. <laughs> but you've got all those different elements. But you could actually, if you don't want to die cut them all, because you have all those as in dies, mm -hmm. you can actually just stamp. Nice idea, yeah. And we just layer up your sometimes. stamps um, yeah. and make it flat. You don't actually have to die cut them all. And like you say, so many of those different kind of spheres that you've mm. got, and they don't have to be attached to the baskets. They could just be on their own, couldn't they? Like you say, building up a nice background. I was saying, um, I love the little plane in there. Yes. You can have those <laughs> lines and actually have a balloon there. Nice. You know, like when you get the um, the signs across the sky oh, saying yes. happy birthday. Yeah. You could actually even... That would be quite nice in the background of a... Or um, just a banner following. Mm. Yeah, really good yeah. idea. So I you've like got, that. like I said, the lines there, you've got the basket, and then you've got the, the boat there. 
with a little propeller, which <laughs> to me is quite steampunky. Yeah, definitely. And I was saying the crescent moon there. If yeah. you stamped and embossed those in coppers, um, gold, whatever, link them together and you've got like chains. Clever idea. Do so like that. You can then change it a little bit, yeah, mm -hmm. which means then you could have something hanging from it. Because they would make like a, um, a faux pocket watch. Yes. Good idea. And the clouds are lovely on that one as well, quite nice, whimsy. Yeah, do you like that kind of little sketchy detail mm. that you've got in there? It's been a popular bundle, this one, just to let you know that 10% of the stock has gone. Get a lot within this bundle because mm. you've got 19 stamps and 11 dies for £19.94. So one nine four seven two nine. if you're wanting to get hold of those. Now brace yourself, we've got some big stamps. <sighs> I mean, these ones are six by six. Now, we've got options with regards to these. To be honest, oh, I'm going to want all of these because they mm. are fabulous. I love the daily news there. I love the skyline. Love that kind of, uh, well, I, I say it's, it, it could be almost like a crackly background. It could yeah. be a foresty kind of background. Um, and then, of course, you've got that lovely kind of uh, element there with all sorts of elements of travel around it. Yeah, I mean... I love that one where you've got all the different, like the Isn't different that world. Brilliant? That's yeah. brilliant. Um, that'd be great in a travel journal. Yes. Um, or it'd be great um, if you had someone's photograph cut out the centre and nice. have someone's travel, you know, photograph yeah. in there where they've been travelling around the world and doing lots of different things. Um, which is what that sample there's done. Um, and I think that's idea. very clever. Unfortunately, um, that die. Yeah, we had to say goodbye yeah. to that die. But that is actually on, using yeah. the stamp set itself. I love it as a border. I mean, even if you just put a circle in the centre yeah. of it. Yeah. I mean, and then some of the um, sentiments we've got from the um, hot air balloon set that we've looked up there mm -hmm. would suit that definitely perfectly. This is one I demoed um, in the first hour, and that's just showing that's the, one of the background stamps, but not using it whole. Yeah. Just actually using part of it, yeah. and that's part of the one day special. Yeah, I can but, see that little heart there as and well. It's, it shows you don't have to pick up the whole mm -hmm. of it up, sort of thing. And again, this is a nice idea where the backdrop has got that kind of almost New York skyline, mm. although it could be many other kit them cities, couldn't it? But I love the vibrancy that you've got as the focal element there. But that was just doing the a lighter grey, the yellow, and then having the black around the border, so it looks mm. like you were looking into the distance. Yes. But yeah. you could reverse that effect. Good so point. the buildings at the front yeah. become your focal point. Yeah. So there's lots of different ways of using mm -hmm. it, but they are the very strong. That one I also said would be beautiful layered up yes yeah um, or you could just cut out different mm. buildings can you have different depths um, deeper pieces pieces more in the foreground yeah. really and have that some would look fun brilliant. with that. and the branches do you know i think that would be christmas i'm just seeing frosty with it yeah yeah, yeah. um or even spring if, if you if you went and got all your little drops or your gems mm. and stuff and like they're budding yeah on the branch well, which is a do, simple yeah. sentiment yeah very and that's so. all you need with them. It's lovely. It's actually called cracked ice, that particular oh, one. Oh, is it? Oh, is it not? Or is that just a bit of... Oh, it's called branches. I just yeah. heard cracked ice in my ear. But I think that was some... That was a little bit of inspiration <laughs> from our producer there. So don't apologise. It's me. I was like, I, just, I was on it then. I was on it as quick as you could be. Um, no, <laughs> front. I love that newspaper script one. The, I think this is one that you're going to use over and over. Especially if you're into your, your journals and your art journals. journals. But um, you've got one, two, three columns there. Mm. You can mix and match them and use them in different ways. Look at all the different headings. You've got the daily news. I mean, actually using that title, the daily news, mm -hmm. you could be using it about someone getting married yeah. and making that. You know, there's lots of different ways, like you're That's saying, really journaling. Clever idea. Yeah, um, like that. So you can still have it in the background, but make that bit stamp again in a different yeah. colour. Uh, and it is. There's lots of different ways. That's one that, you know, you could take apart and put mm -hmm. back together yeah. in lots and lots of different ways. But yeah. I think all of them mix and match oh gosh definitely brilliant value for money mm. as well big stamps there 12.99 as you can see 795.273 again i'm just going to reiterate extended delivery with these in case you have just joined us We're looking at the 7th of february but for every order if you've placed an order with us already then yours will be on its way to you but if you are yet to order you will get a bonus to celebrate the fact that we have got hero arts here as a new arrival at Atanda, you will get a bonus stencil included with your order now what else can i tell you about oh now this one we've got the Universal woman, and we've got clear stamps this time. Yes, we have the photopolymer stamps, okay. which are really good quality. I'm gonna have a play with this one a bit later Ooh, on. Okay, right. uh, and she is beautiful, such Lovely. a commanding design. She's another one that could be layered up because you've got the background, then you could cut her face, mm. and then you've got the hair in the foreground yeah. as well, so you could lay her out. But you've got some wonderful phrases there. Um, strong phrases that well, strong is one of the phrases, phrases as you brave, can see. Brave, unique, yeah, marvelous, yeah. special sort of thing. Um, we are all made of stardust. Oh, look at that. Some of us twinkle more than others, though, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> but it is, it's a lovely one, and it's 
it doesn't just have to be for cards. Mm, it's true. That's yeah. a brilliant one for your journals. Mm -hmm. You Definitely. know, for, for yourself with some of the words, some of the affirmations in there. That's just. You know, perfectly and I for love you. that because she kind of, to me, she's depicting the universe because you've got all the mm. different galaxies, the different planets featuring there as well. So, uh, yeah, very inspirational mm. piece, that one. Um, and again, a lovely set, 17 stamps, 12.99, um, 8.52079 if you're wanting to get hold of that one. So, uh, yeah, we've seen some beautiful mm. elements. I think it's time we got into a, a demo. So, um, before we head in that direction, feast your eyes, some wonderful finished samples. Beautiful, I love that. And of course, a company that have been making stamps for a long time. I'm sure in my collection, I've still got some wooden stamp blocks. As I have, I've yeah. got some wooden ones. Yeah, they're one of the first companies yeah. I, I bought some stamps from. So yeah, yeah. And they, right, okay. So we're using the one day special, and I was saying that you could um, stamp and then die cut, okay. or you could then die cut and stamp on it. All right. Yeah. I want to emboss, so I've actually die cut out because mm -hmm. I don't want to lose any of the raisinous about the okay. embossing. Yeah. Um, and I suppose that varies on different machines, but mm -hmm. I just uh, prefer to do it that way. So I'm just going to use a clear ink. Lovely. And make sure I get it everywhere. And I'm just going to take the die cut itself and I'm just going to put it on top. Wonderful. Okay, and then just gently press down. Lovely. Now the first time we, le we use these, is there anything that we need to know? Do we need to prime them or anything I've, like that? I've not had to prime them, but it's a bit the same like with every stamp sort of thing, until I get used to the ink. Yeah. The first one or two. Bed in, doesn't yeah. it? Uh, but I've not had to prime okay. at all, and I've been using mine all the time. Right, let's move that out of the way. And get some embossing powder. I have got one ready as well. I'll just put some embossing. Lovely. And I cheated and had one ready just in case well, it didn't work. It's always good, isn't it? Always good to have one, just in case. Well, I was more worried I'd drop it. Oh. That's what I normally do when I do embossing. You know, you get everything ready <laughs> do you want and me then to pop that back in the tub for you. Yeah, that would be lovely if you wouldn't mind if I pass Not it over to you. Not a problem at all. Yeah. Like to try and help. Right now, we're going to got the stencil here in the one day special, and what I thought is rather than do a whole background, I want to actually just pick elements of it. Okay. Um, I want to try and give the illusion that it's a moving air. You know, oh. like if you could see air moving, yes. yeah. that's how we believe it would and be. I, I have to say, when I looked at this, and it's one of those ones that kind of morphs into different things, because it could be, like you say, the wind blowing, it mm. could be um, at the sea waves of the sea. I that one there, look, you've got the centre yes, going yeah. round and around. Mm -hmm. So you could actually just do that round and around and have your stars coming out nice in different idea. ways. So it's like a, a Catherine wheel. Yes. That sort of effect. So all I want to do, and I'm just going to use a dauber, because if I use the direct ink pad, I know I'll just get carried away and end up covering <laughs> all of it. <laughs> Yeah, incidentally, we have got some fabulous bundles of little inch ink pads as well. So um, check out on the website. There's all sorts of different combinations with those. There's some lovely colours. Mm. So I'm just going to do that. Let's have a look. Oh, let's do it in the bottom corner. So all I want to do is just pick elements of it. We will emboss it. So I thought we'd do all the embossing at the same time. So let's get rid of that. So all I've done is just picked elements from a rather dirty stencil. But hey, it shows the stencils being used. <laughs> right, so if we put some embossing powder on the top. I'll pass that with your one to do that in a minute, oh, yeah. if that's all Not right. Not a problem at all. Okay, okay. it's another use for those stencils. You don't necessarily think of them and using them the mm. same way as you would have just done. No, and it, it, it's... It, like you say, it's thinking differently with them mm. and not having to think that everything has to be yeah, the so same. Be a nice one to push your um, texture paste through as well, things like gel mediums, adding a bit of depth. 
Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Nice, nice one. I like that. So, we've got... Lovely, and there it goes. You can see as it's changing now. Details on your screen. That's going to get you your 14 stamps. Um, of course, all your different hot air balloons with all those gorgeous florals, floral details in there. Of course, the dies that work alongside them and the stencil that we're working with at the moment. You will get a bonus stencil, though, because you've got your freebie that will be on its way to you. You've not already placed your order. And you can see you've got a £10. Thing. Lots of people watching from America and Europe as well, so it's good to have your company. And, of course, you can take advantage of any of these deals as well. Would suggest, if you are watching from overseas, do become a Freedom member, though, because, of course, it will save you on your post and packing as time goes on. And that will mean that the price on your screen is the price that you're paying for these. And just need to bear in mind that because um, um, Hero Arts are an American company, we're looking at the 7th of February with regards to dispatch on these ones. So just to be aware that they are worth waiting for. Brand new company to us here at Chandra as well. I'm looking forward to seeing lots more from them. Oh, you've got a flying hot air balloon for a moment there. Go and get a pokey tool. There you go, it's probably a good idea. Rather than my finger. I had visions of it spinning round on the spot then. <laughs> like having visions of me burning the end of my finger oh, and finding no. a way of going... That didn't hurt at all. <laughs> That's why I reluctantly try not to use a hot glue gun on air. I'm uh, not the best with them. No, you have to be careful. Right, so... Lovely. Now, I'll just put them to one side. I don't need that one after all. So what I'm going to do is, we've got the beautiful inks mm. on the show. Don't you no, remember? Yeah, these are brilliant. We've got loads of different colours with regards yeah. to these. And they're the, the water, watercolour inks um, yeah. in dropper bottles. Yes, and uh, you don't need much to okay. go a long way, Does that, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, but obviously, the, the more you water it down, the less the colour will be. Okay, okay. Um, and with regards to these, I mean, these are gorgeous. You've got some beautiful colours, things like your pink, your dandelion, your leaf featuring in here as well. Beautiful teal, indigo, purple there as well. And of course, you've got your um, gorgeous um, brown and then that lovely black featuring these. Um, pick and mix, you can choose any three of these. So uh, you can see um, some wonderful effects there. And you kind of got like a wash there. So you've got kind of that, your density of colour at the top there with almost like an ombre effect as that colour's being pulled out. And you you can see there, um, brilliant value for money, fifteen ninety nine. Choose any three, and it, it can be any three that you like. So if you envisage yourself using a lot of one particular colour, then you can go for multiples. But because a little goes a long way, it does. I'd probably shy away from that if you can. So what I'm just doing is a light colour wash. Okay. Around. Uh, and I'm doing it. I'm um, quite loosely. I'm not after. It's just a way of doing a matte and layer, really, mm. as well. Yeah. <laughs> and it's nice as well because I can see the palette that you, you're working from. You've obviously put a dropper of those colours in there and once they've dried, they can be reactivated yeah. with a bit of water. Yeah, which is exactly what yeah, so I've been doing. Yeah, so you don't have to take the bottles with um, you. Which is brilliant because then sort of thing you can carry it with you. Perfect, well. yeah. Right, so I've got that there. So now what I thought we'd do is... When we did the demo earlier, mm. we coloured all the individual flowers in, and that's wonderful. Okay. But sometimes you don't have the time to do that. Right. So I thought we'd look at it in a slightly different way. Let me just okay, get my. Okay, right. <laughs> she says it sort of thing. Right, so what I thought we'd do is we've got all of our images there. I'm just going to put a little bit of water, not much down. I should have asked to start with what type of cardstock are you working on? I'm just working on a plain general card I'm not even using oh, watercolour. Nice, it's a nice smooth yeah, finish. Nice smooth finish. Um, regular stamping okay. card. So it's not really generated for water but it'll, it it's does. Those kind yeah. of ticks all the boxes. Yep. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly... Now I've started with yellow. Now I can't take credit for the colours. It was... Um, I've got a terrible habit. I love blues. And I will, blue's one of my favourites. And, and I will go yeah. and... and you know, default to a blue before anything else. <laughs> so I've been looking, and uh, the, lots of different people do design, don't they? You know, they give you lots yeah. of different colours that you can mix together. Mm -hmm. And I saw something for this, and I thought, oh, that is just, yep. Yeah. Let's try something different. We had a fabulous show earlier on today in uh, our crafty kitchen, and there was, um, we had um, oh gosh, her name's just popped out of me. Natalie, she'd um, brought out a book about um, colour theory mm. and about using different colours and understanding colours and um, the colour wheel and different combinations. Oh, uh, it's a really interesting book to to read because it is sometimes. To, shy, to, to pull yourself away perhaps from your comfort zone and try something different with happy results is always something good to do. So, yeah, check that show out. It was 3 o'clock this afternoon. So, it yeah, it is, isn't it? Um, and we do 
we always have a colour that we like to go to. I must admit, if I get anything new, I will go to the colours that, you know, that I feel comfortable it's, with it's first. It's like your comfy slippers, isn't it? Yeah. It's a natural and, place to and, go. And you just think, oh, yeah, that, that's... That, that's perfect. And then you can feel a little bit braver. But I was just trying to, you know, motivate myself to maybe try something different every now, now and then. nice, because you've got a kind of a bit of an antique orangey look with this one. Is it just you've diluted down the orange? No, I haven't got an orange. It's the pink and the yellow. Oh, right. And I've made um, an orange with it um, from, from the yeah. actual inks. So I've just made my own. It's almost like a vintage peachy kind of tone, then. Look it's that. lovely, isn't mm. it? And then let's just take a little bit of the green. And not too much. And I'm just going to always oh, just pick out one or two and mm -hmm. knock it back. Um, because I don't want to spend too long colouring. Okay. But I just want to pick out all. Oh. Just accent, um, accenting little areas. Yes. Thank you. Now, many of you have been jumping onto the website. You've been having a little bit of a dig around. Um, <laughs> didn't have a chance to show you everything that we um, have got on the show. Uh, so I'm glad that you're having a little browse yourself. Um, and many of you are going for these ones. Um, a nice little set. Again, you've got your stamps and your dyes with these ones. So you've got your gorgeous blooms. You've got your gorgeous succulents featuring within here as well. I think you've got a, um, a, is that a chrysanthemum there? Yeah, you're a mum to me. It's called Hey Mum, I think. I think it's a chrysanthemum there. Play on words there. Little succulents, as you can see here. I love this one of the sentiments I'll never on there. desert you. Oh, oh I love that one. Um, and then this particular one that we've got here, um, you've got gorgeous blooms there with your dahlia featuring on there as well. Um, your a dahlia. You're, You're a, a doll. A doll. Oh, I like that one. And again, you've got the dies there featuring with those as well. Nice little set there. Very affordable at 11 69 So, yeah, whichever of those you're wanting to go for, do pop them into your basket. And they are all detailed, as you can see. They've got Hey Mum there. You've got your succulents. And, of course, you've got your blooms there or your dahlia if you're wanting those. At 15774 if you are wanting those. Well, that's right. nice as background. Like that. So I'm just doing a simple background. If I was at home, I would give it a, probably a little bit longer to dry. Okay. <laughs> we don't have the luxury of time here no, in TV shopping don't. land. There we go. So that was just the, and that was just taking part of the sense, and it was just to give the yeah. illusion. So nice. then I've got my hot air balloon. Lovely. So I'm just going to realise I haven't done the basket. Oh no. So let's just colour a little bit of the basket. One of the things about embossing, isn't it? It just makes colouring mm. so much quicker. And then what I am going to do is that. Just to make it look like there is a bit of a sky. And just dab it away. There we go. So we've got there. So all I wanted to do was put my hot air balloon so it's sitting there Lovely. like that. Now, I did have some foam. What did I do? Oh, here we go. In a safe place. In a safe place. I thought I was organised. You know, we just go... <laughs> <clears throat> I can't find my three D foam pads, oh, so I'll I've got some foam pad for you tomorrow. Um, are they probably in a buried? In a safe place. Yes. I normally put them in a safe place. I'd probably put them in an envelope somewhere. <laughs> so I thought that could just sit Lovely. on the top like that. And we've got that there. And then what I have done is I have stamped and embossed oh, lots of the different elements. Yes elements so we can see there so I've got more flowers leaves and then I've got the banner ready to stamp a sentiment on for the banner so let's grab my glue and I thought what would be nice was actually putting a few of the flowers oh, back yes. onto the balloon now as before you could raise these you don't have to put them flat mm -hmm. but it's it was just a quick way to colour the balloon because I'm using the flowers yes, yeah. as to be the focal point. Beautiful. I like that. Don't forget, with your one day special, the details are on your screen there. You've got your ten dies and you've got all those fabulous stamps surrounding your hot air balloons. A variety of different hot air balloons featuring in there. The larger one, the smaller one that's heart shaped. We've all got those gorgeous flowers on there as well. So it really is a bumper bundle. Ten pounds saving. Um, a brand new company to us here at Chanda. So you can see the details on the screen if you're wanting to get hold of yours. Right. I'll do like that. And then I'm just going to stamp the sentiment for the moment until I decide what I'm going to do with the rest. Okay. Um, so I've got the um, thanks. Let's get the ink pad. Or the thank you, sorry. Let's be correct. And it's a nice pennant. But as you said, the pennant design is good in its own right because you, you could handwrite. Yes, that's true. 
It's great one that you're going to do that with children and let them handwrite, you know, their own little message. Well, you could almost have little letter tiles, couldn't you? Or attached to the back of the little tiny uh, um, the uh, airplane like you were mentioning yeah. before. But even this one here for the airplane, if you cut it yeah, off there. That's good. Right, that wasn't the most level, but that will be fine. So what I want to do is I just want to put that so it's going there a moment and then I want to just cover with another flower. So I just want to put that there. Ah, oh, nice. And I have another flower here. If I can pick it up. And go there. So it's just hiding that. And we've got a few leaves that we can add just to break up the yellow and the orange. So you could actually just, you know, that card that we've got there that, um, in the one colour stamped mm, on the background? Yeah. You could do this and then just colour your own flowers on top of that. Yes, you know, like, like yeah. this one here, you could have left it with the golden colours and then just yeah. did one or two little flowers to Very go with effective. it. I mean, the detail that you've got, again, showing up with that heat embossing there, the little basket just left as it is, because whether you've got your silver, um, your silver embossing pads, you don't really need to add to that. No. But adding the colour there, as you can see where the flowers are, this is a lovely idea. I mean, you could be stamping and cutting these out to your heart's content, taking them perhaps to work, working on them at your lunch hour maybe, or if you've mm. got a craft group, many of you could be creating with these as well. Really nice idea. And something I forgot to ask as well, if we want to make cards to sell with these stamps, it's not an issue. As long it's a no. finished project. That it's you, a finished project. Um, the Hero Arts have a generous angel policy um, and they're very transparent with their angel policy. It's not hidden. Yes. So yeah. if you go and look for it, you will find it if that makes sense. Wonderful. Whereas sometimes it's trying to find, to find the yeah, information, can't it? It so can. There you go. Right. So what I want to do is I want to stick the basket down like that. So I'm just going to hold that in place just okay. for two seconds. And there we go. And just, I didn't know whether I wanted to stick that down or not, if that makes sense, but no, I do now. Fine. And what I thought we could do, where did I put them? I did have, oh, right there, look, right beside you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you thought, I did have them roughly in place. I thought what we could do is just put oh, some. that's a nice idea. A kind of pearl PVA yeah. in the centre. Just so that the flowers mm. are what you are looking at as well. Yes. And you could then add around, but we won't, we'll leave it as that. Lovely. And I am going to do though, because that will just bug me, I'm sorry. It was a little bit sticky. Yeah. <laughs> I hadn't even noticed. <laughs> I did. My and goodness. that was just going to bug. So that was just another way of quickly colouring it. Yeah. That you nice can colour your background, uh, but then make your flowers, spend more time on those little flowers. Like that idea. Thank you. That's Enjoy okay. that, Lou. Um, one way of working with you one day special, and let Lou get herself ready for her next demo while I tell you about those cubes, those ink cubes. Lots of different colours with these. Now, you're going to get a pack of two, and you've got to pick a mix with these ones. So uh, you could choose your peacock, as you can see there. Beautiful set. Shades of grey. Then you've also got, oh, look at these purple garden, this particular set is. And then I've got a little bit of tropical, tropical brights going on there, as you can see. So, yes, perfect for the summer months, those particular ones. Now, of course, more things to share with you because Hero Arts are a brand new company with us here. Now, we've got a couple of stencils here. Now, you'll notice the Starry Nights there. So, of course, um, it's in the one day special. But if you're not going for the one day special, you can still get hold of that stencil alongside that gorgeous ornate floral. Nice sizes, those six by six, 12 99 if you want in those, 308. Three, two, three, and of course those watercolour inks that we saw Lou working with. These ones again are on a pick and mix. You've got loads of colours to choose from. You can choose any three. So will you be going for things like your emerald there, as you can see there? Gorgeous deep blues featuring with this one. You've got your indigo. You've got your teal. You've got your leaf in there, purple, um, brown, black. They are all featuring within there, and you can choose any three of those. A little really does go a long way. And that dropper bottle does help you dispense those incredibly well. So uh, yes, add them to your spritzers and do. All sorts of different things even add them to things like your pastes and your gels and your mediums very versatile very intense colors with those so do pop them into your basket and then when you've made all those gorgeous creative goodies you can be using them alongside your stamps your stencils and your dyes that you're getting within your one day special now where should we start let's start with that gorgeous background i love this background because you've got all those lines those grooves that are giving you lots of interest lots of kind of texture within your project and there is a red rubber stamp so hero arts creating these red rubber stamps that are all ready mounted ready to go 
with your cling in there so you can pop it onto an acrylic block if you're wanting to but to be honest a stamp of that particular size you'll probably be placing it down on your work area and actually taking uh, your cardstock to it um, or just maybe the, just using it as Leone does quite often and our uh, Lou with us as well where they just kind of dab little elements of that stamp on them then you've got your stencil alongside it your starry night we saw that in action just a few moments ago and again if you're wanting that um, rather than going for the duo that I just shared with you it is included within your one day special then you've got your stamps and your die sets coming together so you've got your hot air balloons full of flowers and lots of inspiration with those sentiments as you can see they're all about dreaming big and the clouds featuring there as well thank you love is in the air as you can see and of course the little die is perfect for cutting out those stamped images but of course perfect for you just to cut out as they are and perhaps stamp them with other things that you might have in your stash £39.99 is your price for these and of course the beauty is if you're placing your order for these or anything else during this hour and you've not shopped with us before with Hero Arts then you will be getting a bonus stencil in with your bundle and they do a whole array of different stencils all premium quality so whichever one you receive you know you are going to get something that you're going to be crafting with for many years to come. £39.99 is your one day special price with that £10 saving. It's just going to be a, a dispatched on the 7th of February. Just bear that in mind. It's an American company, so we've got that additional postage. Um, so 340023. Another set to share with you, which work alongside. Again, you've got a little bit of a hot air balloon theme going with this one, but this one you kind of got interchangeable balloons because you've got lots of spheres that you could be using as hot air balloons if you wanted to, or you might want to add them to things like the. Uh, You've got one well, of the different baskets with this one. It might be that you're wanting to use them alongside uh, the little um, aeroplane. It could be alongside the boat, the basket. They are all featuring within here. Now, they are available as individuals. So if you do want to go them by themselves, then you can do it. And the stamps are at the bottom, £13.95. But when you bear in mind that just for an extra £6 or so, you are going to get the die that will allow you to cut those out, I think it's worth going for the duo together. You really are getting a bumper bundle because all of those elements that you can see have been stamped out they can be die cut as well so you've got your little circles which obviously you can cut out to do with your balloons the balloons can then be attached either using the ropes or the basket or your little kind of sky boat as you can see there with that um, sail on there and of course you've got your little um, aeroplane there as well as your birds and lots of additional features making sure that you really are maximizing value for money with this one 194 729 if you're wanting to get hold of that one so lots of fun with them um, to be had for certain so uh, pop that one into your basket perhaps alongside these background stamps now Lou's going to be demonstrating one of these in just a few moments I don't know which one it's going to be but it doesn't matter because they're all fabulous you've got backgrounds here that you will go to time and time again again they're red rubber again they are all mounted um, and ready to go so you've got your mount you cling on there just Pop them again onto your acrylic block if you're wanting to or straight down onto your stamp platform potentially. But you can see here you've kind of got that New York skyline. To be honest, it could be any skyline if you like. Redditch is a bit like that at night. Um, and then you've got your newspaper down there as well. And of course, you've got those fabulous um, kind of um, foliage effect with this one. But it could be cracked ice. It could be whatever you want it to be, really. And then, of course, you've got that lovely kind of uh, radiation and different elements in this one. Love this one for a travel journal. Um, a brilliant idea because you've literally got pretty much all the landmarks around the world featuring there. You can see that you've got uh, the Eiffel Tower there. You've got Statue of Liberty there. Big Ben obviously featuring as well there's a lot of content in there it's a nice stamp as well you might have been watching earlier on and you may well have invested in a die that we had you might not have gone for this stamp yet the die sadly I can't help you with it did sell out but if you did get the die by itself then why have you not gone for this stamp because it lends itself so well to this um, again the one day special with those hot air balloons again using those stamps as a background with those absolutely perfect and again elements from this bundle used again within the one day special um, we saw this one uh, earlier on this morning, um, at uh, 6 o'clock this evening when we had the launch hour. 795 at 273, whichever of those you go for, you're just paying just £12.99. Bargain, definitely worth going for, as is the next set. This one, I think, has got a very kind of spiritual nature, this particular one. I love this one. Um, we're looking at a universal woman, and it is literally that she is almost like the universe with that large stamp there. You can see there the galaxy of stars and planets all featuring and kind of getting themselves entwined within her hair. Her, a beautiful face, as I'm sure you'll agree there. And some really nice sentiments, very inspirational quotes there. Timeless, special, brave, unique. Lots of elements I'm sure you'll be using in things like your art journal.
panels and there's some wonderful um, effects that you're going to get with those. Now, I've just remembered, Lou has uh, mentioned that her demonstration is going to feature some rice paper. Just remembered looking at this and that's what we're doing next. So uh, I'm going to jog along and um, get through these goodies so we can see what she's up to. 852079 if you want in this set of 17 stamps for 12 99 Next set that we've got, you find this one by yourself and it's a nice little combination. Again, play on words with many of the floral elements that we're looking at here. You've got your chrysanthemum there, which is called Hey Mum, that particular set. It's choices with this one, 12 99 whichever of those three you choose to go for. And because they are all on the same item number, if you do decide to go for more than one, then there's no additional post and packing. I love that. <laughs> Some really good sentiments working alongside them. Um, and again, whether you're doing a simple card or a more complex card, having the right stamps for the job are key. And knowing that you've got dies to cut out those stamps is going to save you so much time. 7th of February again for dispatch on this one and at 12 99 a very affordable set. If you want to know more, 57274. Now, some that we didn't have a chance to look at earlier on, so I'm going to whiz along these very quickly. Pick and mix with these. These are fabulous. You're going to choose any two of these. Gorgeous stamps, as you can see here. Again, they are red rubber, so again, you've got quality. These are going to last you for years and years to come. Again, all mounted, all ready to go. And again, gorgeous designs. You are going to choose any two of these. Now, if you wanted, you could go for two repeats of the same. To be honest, I doubt that you'll do that because you want to maximize the choices of designs that you've got here. Really nice designs. And again, big flowers, big um, statement stamps with these ones. So if you're using them as your main focal point, you can see straight away your eye is drawn to that gorgeous flower as it is on this one. And again, this one, slightly different um, setup with it, but again, a lovely look, a lovely um, effect. But what about using it for things like your backgrounds as well? Look at that idea. Like that one, like it a lot there, building up that design. Um, and again, you're going to choose any two for 12 99 Makes it very affordable. Just £6.50 each. There you go. A few fancy notes. 454125. A couple of other things to share with you before we head back now. What have we got here? Now, this particular one, you've got your layering swallowtail. Now, it's not just the stamps because you're going to get your dies. And we're going to get the inks as well. My goodness, what a treat. Now, you're going to get your orchid. You're going to get your um, ultra pink. Your black is in there as well. And I'm not quite sure. I think it says dandelion for the yellow. Um, your stamps. Look at the detail that you've got in the stamps. Now, let me just turn this around. We've also got a board to explain to you how these work. Basically, you've got your four stamps that when they come together, they create that um, kind of realism with your design. So you've got your silhouette. Your silhouette is going to lay down that first co um, colour, as you can see on this occasion. It's going to be that dandelion. Next uh, layer, you go in with a slightly different colour, as you can see. And finally, go in with your overlay of your black. All three of those layers coming together to create that fourth image. You can see that with your beautiful butterfly. Um, and uh, I think you'll agree, it's a very clever combination. You've got your flowers, again, doing similar. And then you can cut them out because you've got the dye with these as well. Really clever idea. Um, very affordable at £28.99. So 378795 if you're wanting those. So, dragonflies. We do like a dragonfly, don't we? Sometimes you don't want butterflies. Some people don't particularly like them. Um, but um, dragonflies, I think, are quite nice. And they're, they're universal um, with regards to, they could go on male cards, female cards, it doesn't really matter. But a really effective look with these. Again, you've got your multi-stamps with these. So again, you've got your layer one, layer two, layer three, giving you your final result with all that depth and dimension. So you can see here, you've got that silhouette, then you've got your next colour, you've got your next colour until you're creating that fabulous dragonfly that you can see at the bottom there you're also going to get some additional um, elements with these things like your little um, well I was going to say water lily but it, it reminds me of one of those dried flowers that you can get uh, um, and again dyes to cut those out sentiments to work alongside them as well again a really good value at 12.99 brilliant um, so if you're wanting the stamps the details are there on your screen we have got the die as a separate entity which will give you the details of in a few moments but for the time being the stamps if you wanted those pop them into your basket then the die that will work alongside for your dragonfly and also your floral accents as you can see just nine pounds and ninety nine pence zero seven seven two eight seven just makes life easier doesn't it when you don't have to get your scissors out or your craft knife just cut it out using your die cutting machine now what about this butterfly set oh my goodness this is beautiful. This is a lovely die. You should your monarch butterfly. Is that an actual butterfly? I was going to say, is it a, a type of butterfly? I'm not very up on them, but I'm guessing that it is. Now, you can see here you've got a, quite a substantial die with this one. This is going to feature quite strongly on your projects. And just cut out a black cardstock and just stuck down where the abdomen is. Look at that. 
isn't that effective? Beautiful. Again, the backdrop here, you can see maybe using some of those floral stamps that we looked at a few moments ago, but that is a really beautiful card. Such a delicate design, but it's still got the strength in the way that the die has been put together. So I think it's a really clever one to work with. You could be making that into a stencil as well, couldn't you, quite easily, and inking through it. Just $9.99, very affordable, good size die, and a very popular one as well. So 407-220 if you're wanting to get hold of those. Now, just one more to share with you, a little one that we've got at the end here, and again, it's a dragonfly. Um, again, with this particular die, similarly to before, you have got your two, um, so you've got your innie and your outie. So if you do want to cut it into your cardstock, then you can do, um, or making your stencil. And then, of course, you have got your outer die if you're wanting to cut that separately as well. So, yeah, nice set there. Um, I would suggest that you potentially go for the butterfly and the dragonfly, because I think they do work really well together. So, 621000. Now, we've got lots of bundles available for you, but we have got individuals, as we have with the one-day special. Um, we've also got individuals with regards to this set here. So, this is our second bundle that we were looking at. It's one where you've got lots in there. 19, pound, uh, 19 stamps, should I say, for £13.95. Of course, it did come alongside the dies in our bundle, but you might just want the stamps by themselves. So, there you go. If you want them, 654792. But what about you want it the other way around and you want the dies? You might want them that way around. I don't know but we're giving you options that's what it's all about 266 um, at 380 maybe you're looking at the series and seeing well you could be seeing anything mm -hmm. yeah well the basket there looks like a little vesty top doesn't it or it might be well a rabbit it could be a rabbit you're right there definitely 999-266-380 do bear in mind though that it is teamed up alongside the stamps and that is where you have got a saving so that is the key thing potentially think about that so, what are we up to? Right, I made a, obviously a bit of a start. Okay. And I've used the Starry Night stencil, which Lovely. is from the One Day Special, and I've just used it with the Orchid Ink, Wonderful. which is part of the Butterfly the set, but it's also part of the Pick and Mix as and well. And that stencil you can get as a pairing as well. Don't forget, we have got it available in the One Day Special, but if you do want it just alongside, is it alongside a butterfly one? Like a Damasky one. Or Nate Floral. Yeah. Nothing like a butterfly then. <laughs> So I've just put that down and I've used the orchid and I've just put it on with a sponge okay. and again random. But then what um, I've done is taking the actual ocean waves mm -hmm. and using the passion flower. Um, that one comes from the purple garden. Okay. I've just added, as you can see, a little bit of a, a nice. background to it. So I've just layered it up like that and then I've just dabbed yellow straight away on there. And this is just plain rice paper. There's nothing special okay. as such. So what I thought I wanted to do is just create lots of different elements. Because um, I know rice paper historically, you know, putting water on it and things like that. But you can, I've discovered that you can watercolour your rice paper in. Okay. But you need to let it dry before you can then pull it out. Does that make sense? It does indeed. So I thought I could have a background and then what I've got is I've got my words ready so I've just chosen a selection. Um, I might not use them all. Oh, no, these are, are these the ones that come from, from the, the oh, set you've got the there. The got with the university yeah. lady. Now, we have actually had an email in from somebody asking about, is it, sorry, Jules? Um, Jules asking about the size of the, the actual stamp of the um, universe lady. And I was just looking on the packaging. It's not mentioned on there. So well, that's my if we one pop there. it onto... Now, we've got inches on this, Matt, and we're looking at just over... Slightly three and a over three inches. Three and a quarter? Yeah. About three and a quarter inches. I don't know what that is in metric. It's going to be about six, five, seven and a half, yeah, eight, like eight and, and a half centimetres, yeah. nine centimetres. Three and a quarter inches we're going for with that one. <laughs> Just off the top of my head, yeah. Okay, so we've done that, and then what I thought would be nice, because I don't know which ones it's I want to choose. Just over eight centimetres. What's on there, Lou? Well, it's roughly approximately, isn't it, two and a half mm. centimetres per inch? Yes. 30 house points, there you go. Thank you. And all I've done with the yellow here is I just want to put one or two, and I'm not worried if, you know, so my stars. Mm -hmm. And I know I'm using, normally I would fill the mm -hmm. whole lot up. So that's one. So then I thought what we could do is do the next one. Oh. So I'm going to let that go dry. Okay. And what I'd like to do is take the Universal Lady mm -hmm. 
and I'm just going to ink her. Now, I've, I've got one already dried, but I just thought we'd make a start. Okay. And then that, I thought you'd have a look at the newspaper print for you. Oh, you're going to use this one as well? Ah, oh, I do like that Daily News one. I'm just reading what the different stories are on here. The circus is coming to town next month, apparently. They've discovered a lost city, and a missing pup has been found in Richmond. Ooh. There you go. Oh, I do like it when they find her. Can it's you read the small, sale. small print? There's a big sale as well. Um, everyone's talking about that new craft store. That'll be her chance then, <laughs> won't it? Well, they're not all that new now. They're four years old. Five years old this year, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. I'll be here before we know it. Right. So, I've just stamped her there. And I've, I've got one coloured, but I've just thought... Now, I'm using the inks, and I'm using them with water. And obviously, with rice paper, yes, it will soak through, as mm -hmm. we all know, we can pull it away. But what we can do is we can keep building it up, and then we just put it to one side to dry. So I'll just do a few, because I have got one finished. OK. OK, so you can carry on, and you can colour her. I've also done it with alcohol markers. Nice, yes. And with pencils. Yeah. They, they, they all, there's lots of different ways of using it. Very but I thought we could create a bit of a background for her to go on. So we've got lots of different elements as such. And it's all adding interest, isn't it? That's yeah. the key thing. Now, the stamp that we're working with now, this fabulous background stamp, it's um, a choice of four different designs. So we've got um, the Daily News being one of those options. Um, we've also got, in addition to that, we've got that gorgeous kind of, well, I was calling it a crackle earlier on. It's like lots of little branches. Branches. Yeah. So all I've done is I haven't stamped up all of it. Okay. I've just stamped up bits of it. Okay. As you can see. Oh, that's clear, isn't it? And this is kind of what rice paper is all about. When we, we see it and it's pre-bought, yeah. uh, pre-stamped, should I say, or pre-printed, it's all about layers that when you look into it, you, you see... You can see the next thing, yeah. yeah. So, so lots of interest. So that's the... Uh, the daily news and i use keep mine on the carrier sheet okay yeah because you've got that beautiful cushioning haven't you so you've you got that, that extra grip, and all i've done it? is i've written write the names on the top good point now so i know with these you have got choices do like it when we have choices <laughs> um they're all big stamps so you can see there these are your choices so you've got let's start off with this first one the circle one that you've got here as well um this one is your wonders of the world and there's loads of wonders of the world in there you can see big ben featuring in there as well International designs, we've got the Taj Mahal in there, it's almost like an ice spy, isn't it? Ticking off the things. Some animals there featuring as well, so like that one, nice set, that one. Perfect if you've been on your travels or perhaps planning your travels. Mm. This one, I do like this one, your branches, because I think this has got a little look of a kind of cracked ice on there, and I think you're going to get lots of interest mm. just using that and dabbing it around on your art journals, potentially. The Daily News, of course, that's the one that we're working with at the moment, where you've got lots of fine detail with all that text in there. And of course, the final one being that skyline, the urban skyline. Certainly got a look of New York about it, but <laughs> it could be anywhere, as I said. Yeah, beautiful. Um, and all of those, twelve ninety nine. choices are yours, so it's up to you which you go for. But if you do decide to go for more than one of those, then, uh, yeah, it's just one item number, so no additional post and packing. And at twelve ninety nine, very affordable. Seven nine five two seven three. Do like those. They're lovely, aren't they? Mm. I think they're... Unsung little hit, unsung hit. Well, I can't call them little, well, can we? Well, they're not by six. Right, so I've taken the um, smaller hot air balloon, and all I'm doing is, I don't want it to stand out too greatly, but I want it to be an embellishment. Mm -hmm. But And all I've done, because I've got the cube inks, is just try to go oh, for the, the... top bit, yeah. yes. And I'm just putting a, over a little bit of the text. So as you said, it's just making the layers yeah, go onto the layers. Yeah, just adding to it, yeah. Right, so... Let's push everything to one side. And we've got loads of little bits here. Let's move those inks out of the way. Now, this is what I did earlier. Ooh, so this look. is actually all coloured in with the uh, watercolour. That's the So too, isn't it? you can see it's gone through, but the rice paper hasn't lost any of its no. rigidity. So you can use your watercolours if that's what you would prefer mm -hmm. to do. And, and it does work. So all I've done is I've just taken some MDF and just gessoed it. So I thought what we could do is we could create Ooh, different yeah, backgrounds and that. different things. So, here you go. Oh, I've got one as well. Ooh, yeah, we lovely. Now, we've got about six minutes left, yep, Lou, okay. just to let you know. Right. Let's get some 
if that's all right with you. Mm -hmm. Not a problem at all. Um, just to let you know, we are coming to the end of the hour. We've probably got about five minutes left. So if you have got any goodies in your basket, which I know many of you have, now's a perfect opportunity for you to check those baskets out. So uh, take advantage of those deals. Don't forget we've had sellouts with Heroes Arts. We're celebrating the fact that we have got new arrivals here at Achanda. Hero Arts being one of those companies that have joined us. So make sure you do stay tuned because there's lots going on with regards to new arrivals here at Right, what would you like? And Ooh. then I'll take what you've got left over. Oh, let's have a little look. I kind of like, now I don't want to chop too much into, I'm going to go for the one down at the bottom yep. here, I think. Is that okay? That's yeah, go gonna, for it. Um, kind of, uh, yep. yeah, you've still got the lady left if you do need to. Okay, just pop that down like so, yeah. Yeah, yep. you can tear it away or... Lovely. Oh, didn't Do you quite want a pair of scissors just to cut it away for the moment? Yeah, I just noticed that I didn't quite get the bottom corner, but okay. I'll put my thumb over that. Nobody will ever know. <laughs> well, don't forget, we can always glue it down, can't That's we? That's true. With a little bit of... Quickly chop into that for you. Um, don't forget as well, Lou was here at 6 o'clock with the launch hour. Um, so, of course, we had demonstrations during that hour as well. Sellouts during that hour. Mm. But, of course, you can still go back and get inspiration. So, if you did um, invest in the one-day special during this hour and missed that show, then do go back and watch it. And I know this hour will be repeated through the night. So, uh, yes, if you have just joined us, you'll have another opportunity to see the show. I think it's 11 o'clock this evening that um, that one will be going, guys. Oh. And at various times throughout the night as well. So, uh, yeah. Yes, do make sure that you check out those. Of course, this is our last live hour of the day. Uh, we will be saying goodbye to you in the next few minutes. We'll be uh, going over to our repeat hours. Um, and, and there's all sorts of goodies on there that you'll see. Check out the schedule. But we'll be back here live at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. So, so there we go. Oh, that looks that nice. Okay? Yeah. What would you like? There's some words there. There's some Ooh, stars. I think I'll go for some words. I did the butterfly as well. Ooh. And there's some flowers and leaves. So you've got to Ooh. choices below. Well, Sorry. we're going to be speedy. Yeah, I the last few minutes. I'm going to go for Stardust because they're obviously we're featuring yep. the star here as well. So I'm going to go cut that out a little bit there, maybe give it a bit of a, a rough edge to it as well. Um, so yeah, do make sure that you're checking out those baskets. That is the key thing because any of those goodies, um, they're not yours until you check out your basket. So uh, yeah, make sure that you do do that as soon as you possibly can. There we go. Quickly <laughs> always round there. <laughs> I know. It's Fussy cutting with a capital F, I think, uh, on that particular one there as well. There we go. I'll pass Lovely. That to you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Love it's it. a quick it's way of you think... effective, isn't it, making your own rice paper? Because, of course, it moulds to any shape that you've got, so it could be boxes or but frames. But also, it's then using your stamps. Mm. So if you've made a card, now it's using um, making a box, making a matching present, whatever you want it to be. It's school girl error. I forgot to check where the little hole was. So oh, I'll doesn't put, matter. put my sentiment on upside down. If I'm turning it into an embellishment. Mind you, I didn't necessarily need to do no. it as an embellishment. Right, so Lovely. I'm going to put... There you go. I'm going to add to mine, I think, because we're running oh. out of time. What sort of time have we got left? Three minutes. Oh, I've got time to do add a bit more. Have there's, you got the scissors? There, oh, sorry. There we go. Ooh, there's flowers. There's butterflies. Oh, I'm enjoying this. Do you want a paintbrush in the water to tear it out that way? Oh, yes, I will go for that, I think. It makes it a little bit easier. Just go for a little bit of the butterfly, I think. Just around the edge there. Um, don't forget, if you are looking for rice paper, I'm sure we will have some on the website. We've quite a few of our suppliers bring mm. it to you. Um, and I think Lou's just shown it. It's a brilliant way of, um, well, making your own rice paper using all the stamps that we've got, not only from the one day special, but for the rest of the show as well. Loads of elements for you to check out. So, uh, yeah. Do consider adding some of those goodies into your basket and take advantage of brand new company to us here at Achanda, one of our new arrivals. And I wonder if you've seen our little kind of trailer or our announcement and have you figured out which of the presenters actually voiced it with that terribly posh of rivals voice? It certainly <laughs> wasn't me. And I think we can pretty much guarantee it wasn't Yanis. It's our fabulous Alex. Um, she's a thespian of a um, Oh, is she? She's, oh. Very, she's classically trained, you know. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> she's, she's very good. Very good uh, and very effective, so yeah, I do Ooh. like it. Right, so I've got the lady on there, on mine. Wonderful. Obviously, we're rushing. You would take a little bit more time. What else should we got? Oh, Now, I've got to put some glue on that paintbrush. Doesn't Sorry, matter, it's all clear. Up? Yeah, I deliberately keep Wonderful. I'm just adding a little bit of glue on the back here. We are rapidly coming to the end of the hour, folks. Time is upon us. Because I'm having a, a lovely time. <laughs> well, it's a, a different way of using. So we've mixed and matched the different stamp sets and the big stamps, the stencils. So it's just looking 
at everything in a different way. Now you'll get making you all sticky, aren't I? I well, yeah, I'm just realising I'm, I'm in trouble because I've just tore the, the wing off a butterfly. <gasps> <laughs> That's it. I'll be getting a phone call in the morning. Right, I will stick my sides down later. Right. Just need a bit more glue on there, I think. But so, yeah, you can add to that. Add your colour as well, don't forget. Yep. You've got your ink pad, you could go around oh. the edge. Just a little bit of colour. Um, sadly, my fingers are all sticky, so I've just pulled that straight back. Is that better with the bigger one? Um, we're going to be saying goodbye to you in the next few moments, but we will <laughs> be back with you tomorrow. Lou will be back with you bright and early um, at 9 o'clock. I will see you a little later in the day. And of course, things kick off here at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. 8 o'clock, we'll be announcing our brand new um, uh, seven-day savers. So if you have checked out the seven-day savers during this hour, you need to be getting hold of them before tomorrow morning. And of course, 7 o'clock, a brand new deal of the day. So check that one out. Um, thank you for your company. Lou, 